Hi, I'm Robert Scott. We're at Kamikaze Comics Books and More. We're in Claremont, just off the 805, and we're here today to celebrate the release of The Monsters Meet on Court Street, which is Bat and Lash's first new Supernatural Law collection in four years. I'm Michael D. Hammerski of comicbookcollectorsblog.com, and I'm here at Bat and Lash's uh, release party for his newest book. It's the sixth book in the Supernatural Law series. It looks pretty good, and it's a good turnout here today. I'm Batten Lash, and I am doing a signing for my new book, The Monsters Meet at Court Street. Well, Supernatural Law is about my uh, two lawyers, Elena Wolf and Jeff Bird, who are counselors of the macabre, and their practice consists of the supernatural and the supernaturally afflicted. So who's scarier than Dracula? His attorneys. The Monsters Meet at Court Street is exactly what it says. There's a lot of monsters in here, including a uh, mad scientist who finds the perfect woman in another dimension. The only problem is the zoning laws are preventing him from continuing this relationship, so this is where Wolf and Bird come in. And here, everyone loves a talking gorilla. Here is uh, Wolf and Bird has a uh, gorilla client, the proverbial 800-pound gorilla, who's uh, unhappy with his, uh, the legal services. And this, the name of that story is The Appeal of the 800-Pound Gorilla. So as you can see, we have a lot of fun with the series. I think it's really important, one, for the, the creators to be able to meet the public and see who's reading their work. It's also, I think, important for the fans to be able to put a face to the names on the credit pages. A lot of people still think that comics are made automatically by computer or something like that, and so it's nice for them to actually see the people that are doing all the hard work. Events like this are very important, and I, I think we, got, we hooked in a few newbies. It brings in people that normally would not go to a comic book shop that are buying these basically online. It helps bring people into the local comic book shops. It's just great, to, I think, to be able to put a you know hometown hero spin on things where you know, people don't realize that maybe their next-door neighbor is working in an industry that they enjoy. The comics industry uh, it's very much what Dickens once said. It's the best of times, it's the worst of times. I, I think there's probably more uh, quality material out there in comics than ever before. That's the good news. The bad news is sales are just not what they should be. Cartoonists whether they're writers or artists, are compelled to create. So they do what they can to get, to get going. But it's an industry that's been hanging by his thumbs for years now. And I think uh, personal events at comic book stores and conventions are very important because when the general public comes in, they just see the uh, wealth of material that the comics medium offers. I mean, there's a comic for, I think, every stripe, every age, I mean, every topic, and, and the more people find out what a really wonderful medium this is, I, I think uh, they'll be hooked.